Yes. Imagine these sons are outside the building right now. What would you do? Most people are very unprepared in real life emergency situation. And in zombie TV shows, we can see what kind of things we need to prepare for emergency situation. And my favorite American drama is The Walking Dead. <coughs> After watching this drama, I have done re some research and learned how to survive from any emergency situations like zombie apocalypse. Therefore, I'm going to explain three ways how you also can survive zombies. The first one is weapons. Second one is ethical partners. Third one is resources. So let's begin our survival life. <laughs> if you want to protect yourself from zombie attacks, you need you need to kill zombies and uh, if you kill if you want to kill zombies you need to use weapons. The first one is ball and arrow. These two things are very good at distance, especially zombies are very far away from you. Second one is gun. Gun is good for emergency, but it also has some disadvantages like uh, the bullets are limited and uh, if you use gun, the gun will have a loud noises to attract more zombies. Second one is sword. When zombies are very close to you, sword is a good choice. It's good for close range, three, about three feet. When you stay with your partners, if you want to survive from zombie attack, partners is an important part. And in The Walking Dead, the main actor always asks three questions. Have you killed workers? Have you killed a person? And why? The reasons why he always asks these questions is he wants to know the person's ethics. Even though the zombies are very terrible, the partners without ethics are more terrible. Let's imagine a different example about ethics and disaster. <coughs> and according to the ethics for disaster, a group of people stuck, was stuck in a cave when a fat man stuck in the mouth of a cave. During the high tide, and they were all of group will drown to death except the fat man. Someone in this group has the dynamite, so they blow up the fat man to save everyone. If the leader blow up the fat man, maybe in the next situation, he will blow up another person. But if he didn't do that, maybe they will survive, maybe they will die. When you stay with your partners, maybe you will not feel lonely, but if you have resources, you can feel full and safe. And according to the CDC, um, when you're in emergency situation, store at least one gallon of water per person per day at minimum three days supply. The second one is food. You, you'd better store some food like canned or dry food because they are easy to store. The third one is shelters. The shelters can adjust your physique and your mentality. And uh, if you in working attack Building with multiple levels is a good choice because the zombies are all very slowly and you can save your time to hide yourself or wait for the rescue. And the fence 
is good to, to keep zombie a, away from you. And you also need some ba basic equipment like batteries, flashlight, first aid kit, blankets, and maps. In conclusion, if you want to kill zombies, weapons are very important. When you're in danger, your partners will save you or not. If you want to survive in any emergency situations, you must prepare food, water, shelter, and equipment. Thank you for your listening.